Spencer, last week after the game against the Nuggets, you talked about having the right intention but just needing a better execution. So what's the main difference that you want to see from your team tonight? Um, I mean, I think uh, just, just starting uh, well. Obviously, uh, we, we haven't done that lately. Um, and then also, I think, uh, you know, just playing pocket extra out of the pick and roll and, and you know, uh, bringing the intensity and effort for sure. How good is it to kind of just be able to watch film and have a shoot around and to prepare? You guys didn't have that last week. Um, I mean, it's great, you know, uh, being able to kind of get a chance to get back home and lock in a little bit. Um, I think it's good for this group. And, you know, we had a really uh, a good shoot around this morning and, you know, we're, we're going to be ready to play tonight. What do you think has been behind some of these slow starts the last six games or so? Uh, I mean, you know, we played some really good teams and I think our our focus just has to be a little bit better. How do you manage to stay kind of grounded in? I know it's a four-game losing streak, but it was like a seven and two stretch before that. Uh, what's your kind of the overall message in staying even? I mean, never too high, never too low, right? Like the NBA season has ebbs and flows. It's an 82-game season. It's a marathon, not a sprint. There's going to be some losing streaks, some win streaks. Um, it's just trying to capitalize on the totality of the season. You had to deal with a lot of adversity throughout the season. You even mentioned after that Nuggets game that you guys miss a guy like Dennis Smith Jr. How uh, critical is it to have him back for tonight's game? Uh, big time. I think uh, his energy, his effort is contagious. Um, what he brings on the defensive end uh, is unique to anybody else on this roster. And um, he's an impact player. With, with Dennis being back too, I mean, I know he said he's very honest about certain things. When someone like him speaks his mind, how much weight does he carry when he can just come in and just say, hey, we need to do this. How much weight does he, you know, carry with his team now? Um, a ton. I mean, again, like his uh, his character, his his ability to play uh, with a high level of intensity, uh, guard the other team's best player. Um, it, it automatically gives you credibility in the locker room. Dennis kind of said that from his point of view at home during the trip, it seemed like the competitive edge, the physicality wasn't really there. I mean, would you agree with that? Um, yeah. I mean, I think uh, it's it's one of the very unique things that he brings and. And um, obviously, uh, when we're missing him and Ben and those guys, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we lack some of that. But we're, we're happy to have him back. Spencer, tonight's game is special because the first 10,000 fans are going to get your T-shirt. I'm not sure if you got a chance to look at it. But what do you think so far about it? No, nah, I mean, I'm happy with it. I think, uh, you know, they got the fro and the goatee right. Uh, you know, and just it, it, looks, it looks fun, which at the end of the day is uh, what my time here has been. That's kind of promotion. I guess it's just kind of like more love with the city and this team, like just kind of how much you're appreciated by the fans, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, you appreciate it a ton. I mean, like I've been here for a long time. Um, and so there's a lot of love uh, in this city with this fan base. Um, and we're just looking to try to get a win, especially uh, given the fact that my T-shirts are going to be in the crowd. <laughs> you mentioned the ebbs and flows of the season. Obviously, when, when someone like Mikhail is struggling, obviously everyone's going to go through those motions. How do you try to approach a teammate just to kind of keep them encouraged when obviously maybe a shot's not falling or they're going through a rough patch a little bit? I mean, he impacts the game in so many ways. Obviously, he's, uh, you know what I'm saying, our all-star, and so we're all behind him 110%. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're not worried about his struggles. Did that one to your son to, for him to wear tonight? <laughs> I, I think they got a whole package for my family, but shit, I, I, I get this one special from you. No problem. Um, the offense has kind of overall been struggling a little bit. How do you guys, I guess, try to like look for those shots and try to get those shots to fall a little bit against this tough Denver team? Um, I mean, we'll, we should be able to get into the paint and, and, and draw some kickout threes. And obviously, uh, you know, our offense is predicated on uh, volume shooting of the three. Um, and so if we're not making them, then the offense isn't very good. And when we are, then, you know, the offense is pretty good. So, you know, I hope uh, that we can get our shooting on track tonight. Jock's kind of mentioned converting some of the mid-range attempts for the team into shots closer to the rim. Kind of over the last couple weeks, that trend has been pretty dramatic. You view that as like individual efforts to work for better shots or, or a team concept or a mix of both? Um, I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, with Mikhail and, and Cam Thomas being uh, big drivers of the ball for us, uh, them just being very intentional on getting to the rim has, has helped out a lot. Thanks, Spencer.